So to start, when you're taking this off, what you're gonna do is take your screwdriver and find a spot, any spot right here, and then just pry a little bit. And then you'll see a spot where there is a clip, like right there. See, that, there's a yellow thing right there. What you do is you slip the screwdriver in between the edge of the clip. Right there. And you just pull like that. Undo all the clips that you can. It won't come off immediately though. What you do is you're gonna to wanna to take off this piece next. So what you do is you slip a screwdriver underneath. Alright, right there. Now we're just just like that, and you just twist a little bit, and it comes right out. I try not to use too many tools when I'm doing this, because I don't like to mark up my stuff. Like that. And you just stick it in right here, and then twist your screwdriver this way, and it pops right off. Then, take your T30, the T30 bit right there, and what you're going to do is just undo the torque screws that are inside of there, like that. So you've unscrewed the two T30s, the one in this hole and the one in this hole. What you do is you go back to that spot where you undid that clip at first, stick that screwdriver in there, make sure it didn't accidentally pop back in like this. Yep, still good. And then try to slip your fingers in between like that. And if it doesn't work, just take your screwdriver and keep going down on the bottom and prying like this. Basically just pry all the way around the door until all the clips are free like this and lift up, and then it'll slide right off of this whole thing. Just like that. Now the reason I took this apart was because my door handle wasn't working, so I had to slip this thing back in place. This is the correct position like this. But to take it off, you just pull on this, like so, get it off of there, and then Twist up, and wiggle that piece out. I'm showing you from an upside down angle right now. Take this screwdriver right there, and you just lift up like that. And then you keep move this all the way over. This slips, slips right up. You take this, push it in, and lift up. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that because it's hurting my fingers. Unfortunately, that piece of the wiring harness is actually a lot of work to take out that brown one right there. So I'm not gonna do it because I don't need to. Okay, so now that I have that gray thing in place, like right there, I'm gonna take the black thing right there. I'm gonna slip it back over, and as you can see, as I push that, it's actually pushing the wiring harness back in place, and now it's locked in, and this is pushed all the way back. Down here, what you're gonna do, see how that is made right there? That little tiny lip in the center there, those two things, rocks in between this. It actually has a perfect circle shape for that circle-shaped one in the middle. Get it in like this, once you have it in the right spot, you'll be able to push it down and it locks in place. And then this, actually it's gonna be easier if you put that metal thing back in first. Back in the hole, twist it down, that's it. Don't go any further than that. You take this and lock it in just like I showed you earlier. Like that. Let's see if I move the handle and it goes. Just pull the handle. Perfect, fix my door handle, love that. Lock mechanism right there, through this hole here, like usual. Goes like that, just set it over. Into the lock mechanism through. Entire, the entire interior door piece here. Take it like this, lift it up, so that it doesn't quite come off the locking mechanism. Right, you lift it up so it looks like that. Then you have to get this lip right here that my fingers are on. You have to rock it into place right there. So basically what you have to do is pull from the bottom here and then set it down and it'll, it'll shut right in really abruptly. So then basically you just make sure that all of your clips are aligned there. And you just set them in like this. Your rule of thumb is to basically have one in on each side. You gotta make sure there's one 
up here it's really hard to see but there's one little silver one right here sure that's there that's locked in place that was quick then you just slam it like that just put them back in the holes right there right there screw them in And this is probably the hardest part is getting this thing back on. If you don't have a lot of practice and your first time, it's your first time doing it, it's really tough. All right, so here's the actual way that you do this. You take that lip right there and you set it in that hole. All right, so once that's set in the hole, just like that, you just push down like this. And eventually that whole thing just slips on. Right there, you just work your way up. Snaps right in, there you go, it's back on. That looks good. I've messed up hundreds of times doing that. And that's all there is to it. That's how you get the interior door panel back in. Thanks for watching. Give me a follow. If this is on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.